How did your solo career influence the style of music? I think um, if you listen to Start from the Dark and uh, Secret Society, I think you can hear more of the, the kind of influences that John had in his solo thing and, and Joe had in his solo um, on, on his solo albums. More influences from that. Um, Last Look at Eden, the new album is more, I think, much more Europe, Europe sounding than the, the, the previous two albums. But I think the two, I mean, Start from the Dark and Secret Society was sort of a learning period trying, you know, to to find the, 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 the true Europe sound again. It's, it's not, you know, you can just, after 15 years, get back together and sound like you did in the, in the 80s. And we never wanted to do that. But I think this is, the album, uh, Last Look at Eden, it's the, the new and the true Europe sound. More melodic, maybe more dramatic, more uh, dynamic. So I think we're on the right way. Yeah, you mentioned your new record, Last Look at Eden. Is, uh, very successful, had really good reactions. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit more about it. How long did it take to record it? Um, it was it was quite fast because we um, we I think we had a, a week of rehearsal before we went into the studio. I did the drums, um, all the drum um, recordings in, in like two uh, two or three days, and then we did all the other things and the overdubs. It took about two months to, to do the whole recording session. And then um, uh, another month to, to do the mixing and, and putting the, the record co covers and everything together. So it was a fast process uh, when it came to the actual recording and the uh, making of the album. But I guess we, we did a lot of uh, writing actually on the tour, uh, uh, on the last, on the Secret Society tour. Because uh, I know that Joe, we came up with a lot of song ideas during the tour, and he played played some demos and stuff. So um, I think it was quite fast. We we don't really want to spend too much time in the studio because it's kind of it's kind of boring, you know, to uh, work for too long because it takes takes away some of the the spontaneous feeling of the songs. Sort of. So it was yeah, it was quite a fast. Thing this time. And the title track, uh, Last Look at Eden, mm -hmm. um, you were accompanied by the Czech National Symphony Orchestra. Yeah. Uh, did you plan that from the beginning as the song was written or no, as it came? I think from the beginning it was just a regular, more of a regular song, uh, rock song. Um, the producer uh, came up with the idea that we should have an intro. Uh, so Mick made an intro on, his, on synthesizer. And um, uh, and then um, the producer mentioned at one point that he had a connection with a with a symphonic orchestra, so we could go there and, and do recordings, you know, for it if we wanted to. So what we did, well, we sent the, the the intro and and the sort of the, the sheet music for for, um, for the synthesizer to uh, the, um, the orchestra, the, the conductor, and he made a orchestral sort of. Yeah rewrote the, for the different parts of the orchestra. Do you have a favorite song on the album? Or a favorite song to play live? One of the favorites... I like Last Look at Eden because it's... I, I love the more, you know, the, the bombastic uh, sort of... Uh, it's very kind of heavy. Um, it's got a great... Um, great melodic uh, chorus and, and, and all that. So that's one of the favorites. But others, I think that, that The Beast, it's a very fast song, which is like a very up-tempo up driving song. Uh, John Levin, I think it's actually the first song that John Levin um, has, has, has written together with Joey. Um, I like playing that because it's so energetic, you know. Um, so it, it varies from day to day, you know. It depends on what, what, what mood you are in. Sort of, yeah. What can you expect tonight from the show? Do you plan something special? Yeah, well, you, we always try to to uh, make a varied um, set list with both new new tracks and older tracks because we have so so many great older songs, and I, we're beginning to to come to the <laughs> we're having a problem to to pick the songs because you know you can't play for too long either. I mean, you you got you want to play for maybe uh, at, at the most two hours. 
So it's sometimes we have to fight over what, what songs <laughs> we're going to play, you know. But we, uh, the general idea is to, to make a, a mixture of the, of the of the past and, and the present, sort of. So it's going to be uh, both uh, and some, you know, some small surprises, which I can't tell because then it won't be a surprise. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> You have achieved so much in your career. Do you have any unfulfilled ambitions? Yeah, I, I was um, lying in bed the other the other day, and I was thinking, if I die tonight, I'm gonna die with a smile on my face because of everything that I've experienced. But uh, other than that, I have to quote Freddie Mercury, the singer from U uh, from uh, Queen, because he had he had the same question, and, and his reply was what's wrong with more of the same? And I think that's a very good answer. So that's, that's my answer too. Okay, thank you very Thanks. much for the interview. Thank you. And uh, have a nice show. Thank you.